Dr. Blake that I'm here with J. Rue, the damager, the destroyer. J. Rue, what's up? What's going on? Just lamping, just lamping, you know what I'm saying? You've been here before, have you, a while ago? Like, 93. 93? Yeah. Hip hop was different back then, and a lot of things have changed, and you uh, made a song about it. Yeah. It's called, uh, You're Playing Yourself. There's some very serious issues in this song. What made you make this record? I like hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I love it. And to me, it's being destroyed and commercialized and soon to be taken away. So before that happened, I'm going to make a fuss about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting brothers know that I'm not letting it go without a fight. You talk about um, not letting it go without a fight. Are you concerned there might be some repercussions? You do go through and name a couple names in the song. You talk about Puff Daddy and Foxy Brown. Are you concerned about maybe something might happen later? This none of them. I wasn't like Puff is a faggot or she's a stink hoe or nothing. You, you know didn't say saying? that. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. It's like, I'm not scared. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All it's right. like, I'm just speaking how I see things. If I see it like this, I'm gonna see it. If you got shit on your shoe, I'm gonna be like, yo, you got shit on your shoe. If you got that on your shoe, I'm gonna be like, boom, it's on your shoe. I'm not gonna leave it there. So, same thing. Right. Tell me a little bit about the album. The album is definitely gonna be fat. It's gonna have hip hop on it, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not saying it's fat where it's so dope, I'm just saying it's fat to me because it's just real hip hop. Okay. Are you gonna have a part two to that video um, with the cartoon the animation? They caught him, left everybody hanging, yeah, you gonna have a part two to that? I did, I did part five. Part five, what happened to the other, I never the said one that thing part me? one. <laughs> it could have been part four. All right, so what happened to the prophet? Not, and he, this one is called the, the Revenge of the Prophet, you know? He's getting to a couple shootouts. It's right. really ill. Okay. It's illa. He he facing new he he facing new villains. Trichnology. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The materialistics. A right. greedy Lou. It's okay. a whole a whole crew. All right. Back a few years ago when um Scott LaRock was killed, it sort of changed hip hop. People started getting real serious and the whole space of the music changed. Now we just lost another soldier, Tupac. You think that will change the music or people just gonna go right ahead doing what they've been doing? People gonna do what they've been doing because brothers die every day. You know what I'm saying? What happened to Tupac is sad, but it's not an isolated incident. Around my neighborhood, it happens every day. You know, so brothers maybe, I don't know, I can't say. Hopefully with me coming out with some type of lyrics that'll spark the, the, the intellectual side of the brothers, they'll change. You got any guest appearances on your album? Just, just like last time, my man Afu Ra, we did a song last time, it was Mental Stamina. Oh, that was Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> you mean Fantastic. <laughs> now it's called Physical Stamina. Okay. And we brought it from the mental level now to the physical level. And I guess next time it'll be Spiritual Stamina. 